Denzel Washington walks with a purpose in the Book of Eli, the newest entry from the Hughes brothers. The story follows Denzel as a mysterious man named Eli as he travels on foot in a post-apocalyptic world. We learn that his journey is toward the west coast of the United States. For what purpose, we're not too sure. We don't know anything about Eli except that he can fight. With a killer blade at his disposal, he is confident he can survive any situation. In search for water, he makes way to a small town where things like shampoo and matches are worth more than they ever were. Here Eli runs into Carnegie, played by Gary Oldman, an old kook who's in charge of the town and wants what Eli has, a book that promises to bring him power over all people. Carnegie will stop at nothing to get this book, even attempt to give his daughter Solara, played by Mila Kunis, up for sexual favors. Eli, however, will not give up this book under any circumstances and makes his way towards the west as Carnegie and his men follow suit. The Book of Eli shows promise in its earlier scenes. We wonder who this Eli character is, and we are interested because he has a passion to never give up. The problem is we really never learn about Eli, or really never get to know him. He's a one-dimensional character whose sole purpose is to take this book to the west coast. The book is never called by name until the end, but if you've seen the movie posters, you most likely know what it is, and why it's so important to Carnegie and Eli. Carnegie isn't that threatening of a villain, and the reason for this is because Eli seems unstoppable. Every baddie that comes his way is sliced and diced in seconds, and we know if he got his hands on Carnegie, Carnegie wouldn't stand a chance. If bullets can't stop Eli, what can? He's a human Superman, and we somewhat learn why this is at the end, as ridiculous as the ending may be. Now, Mila Kunis does well here as Solara. She's really developing as an action star of sorts, and Denzel works well with the script that he's given. Although his character lacks depth, he makes it work. The Book of Eli is predictable except for the twist ending, which is over the top, and the movie really takes itself seriously. But other than the quick fight sequences, the Book of Eli is dull. Dull because we don't care for the characters, especially Eli, who we really know nothing about. But he sure can fight. <laughs>